Hey guys, Sophia here, my great challenge. It's day number six of my Vlogmas and nothing says I'm on vacation like a good old cup of Theraflu. That's right, I'm sick. Doesn't it always happen to me? Every time I take a vacation, I get sick. Okay, so I'm on Theraflu. Uh, last night was rough. I was sweating all night, having uh, chills. This morning I was gone pretty much most of the morning. It's three o'clock already. Um, Scott and I just had our lunch and uh, I had an appointment to go to uh, this morning so I took care of that but today my goal is to tackle the corner of the kitchen here which you're going to see in a minute because let's face it I am falling apart this corner here is horrendous and I have all of the Christmas gift stashed underneath and I need to start wrapping this stuff and I need to do that first actually because uh, the stuff that's on top needs to go at the bottom and I can't put it at the bottom while I still have the gifts. So let me show you what we're talking about. It's pretty bad. Right, so the third flu going on and then, yeah, this is what's going on on the side. So what do I have here? I have a ton of mail and then I have a ton of cards that I'm processing and writing um, with address labels and whatnot. I have the wrapping stuff here and this is what's going on here. I have all of the Christmas gift. Um, that you see all the packages oh, yeah. all of this stuff I need to process and I need to uh, start wrapping because it's just insane and Scott and I have decided that this year we're gonna start putting the stuff underneath the tree um, because the kids are old enough and they're not gonna open them hopefully right I don't know if you can see me um, I'm gonna start wrapping presents uh, I got a whole bunch of stuff that's books and what I'm gonna do this year around for the kids because I bought Wrapping paper that has matching bows, but did not. Uh, I have a lot, so I'm gonna make bundles of books that are wrapped, right? What is this? Oh, that's for Willie, and that's for Willie. Okay, put this stuff here because I want to get rid of all the cardboard boxes and the packaging because it's insane. And that's for Willie, so that's another book. I didn't realize they had one and two of Tokyo Ghoul, so I need to return that. So this year the kids gave us a list and they pretty much got everything they wanted on the list. Um, that's for Edward. Manga stuff. This one I don't know. That's for Willy. Look at all this packaging. Just for one little thing. That's for Edward. Okay, so that's Edward. I'll put it here. You're not looking at that, Scott. Okay, so let me start doing Willy first. I don't know what that is. There's like 12 more boxes underneath there. So somebody asked me how we manage Christmas uh, with the kids. And what I do is that I give them a budget. And I tell them, here's your budget, give me your list, don't go over budget. I always go over budget, but I buy them other stuff. Because, you know, they never ask for clothes, right? Okay, what's this? That's for Willie. Okay. All right, so let me start wrapping this stuff. So Willie asked for a um, expansion um, memory thing, like an external hard drive for the PS4. So he got one and that's a uh, Seagate game drive, two terabyte. Okay, so now I gotta choose. Uh, Willie, we're gonna do this color. I don't know if I have enough 
paper. I'm going to show you how I wrap things. It's going to be easy because it's all square. CVS and one roll that's all I could do <laughs> that's it uh, one two three four packages and and I'm being economical and that's all there's left so yeah nothing beats the paper from Costco you get a humongous roll and you have it year after year um, so I'm going to switch colors on Lily um, and that's the right. Let me cut this. And you know, to me, wrapping paper is such a waste because you buy it and then it goes straight to the trash as soon as it gets um, open. My grandmother used to keep it, she used to fold it, uh, flatten it. <laughs> She used to keep the paper um, and the ribbons too. Did your grandma used to do that? Mine did. So this is where I'm at. I have um, two packages here that are closed and I'm not wrapping because, you know, I couldn't individually wrap them, but it's just too many. And then there's another one here that's for Scott and this is all Scott and the boys. And I still have packages coming up in the mail up until Monday, actually. Um, look at my mail list. Did I tell you they were going to go um, and bloom before Christmas? I should have bought them a little bit shorter, but that's all right. So now it's uh, 4.30. I'm going to give myself one hour and I'm going to tackle this. Uh, but first I'm going to show you something. Some of you asked me um, why I order my pictures so late. Well, the, uh, the picture portrait pictures. We did them on Sunday and the reason why I do that is because I don't order the prints themselves. Um, I get the digital um, pictures and then I Photoshop them and within 24 hours I get them from Walgreens. So this is the Christmas card this year and you can see some of the portraits of the kids. Uh, we actually had 25 pictures that they gave us digitally and these are the four best. I'm trying to not give you a glare that I picked um, and I photoshopped them. Uh, skin texture, um, you know, a little bit shadow here and there. And then I picked some designs that are free online, you know, like um, PNGs, transparent background stuff. So I have this one here and then this one is just the same but I chopped up all of the other stuff, um, the Merry Christmas, so it kind of gives me a little um, angle or corner here and that's about it that's all I do I get them printed they get done sometimes the same day and they all got mailed on Monday so everybody's getting their card before the holidays and that's basically what I do I no longer try to get the portrait studio give me their card or get them through Shutterfly or you know all of those other programs because for me I never find a template where I can fit the pictures and the size of the pictures that I want, so I just end up doing it myself. And it's not really difficult. Uh, you can do that on the paint program. It's, um, it's easy. Anyway, so I only have two left, <laughs> and I ordered uh, 35. So those are gonna go into scrapbooks. In the meantime, I need to tackle this mess here. So what do I have here? Um, 
a little bit of chit chat. I'm still nursing that Theraflu. It's just so nasty. It really is. Okay, so this is stuff for work that I actually need to um, sort. Uh, and I'm thinking, you know, I really like working here. This is where I do all my editing um, because I can monitor dinner. It makes sense. And that way I'd never have to clean up the dining room. But the problem is this. If I don't attend to it uh, right away, it ends up accumulating. I got my laptop here. Um, the um, extension for the Wi-Fi is here. But I do have a lot of stuff that I really need to sort. So these are the giveaways that I'm going to do. But... It's gonna have to wait the first of the year, guys. Sorry, <laughs> this is just too much. Um, I have a Go Girl planner I need to do, and then I have those dotted things. So that's gonna come at the new year. I'm gonna bring that to the office. These are all the cards I've received this week that I need to respond to. So you guys know I respond to cards. Um, I may not be right on time for the holidays, but every card that has a return address gets answered. Uh, that's my address book. That goes back to the office. Planner and stamp. I'm going to leave that here. That goes right here. And this is where I put all the cards that I've already um, responded to. So most of, for most of them, what I do is that I remove the envelope with the address because it takes too much room. The best I can do, I managed to condense everything to that little holder here. I have some leftover ribbons and stuff that I'm going to need to keep for the rest of the packages um, that I have. This is just my laptop. This is all the stuff I have for trash. This bag is broken. So this is all trash, so I didn't do too bad. And then this is mail I need to respond to. And then again, the box where I put all your cards. So I'm going to have a cup of tea and... Uh, do some mailing, respond to cards. I don't think I can do all of this um, in one shot, but I'm going to do as many as I can and then I'm going to go quilting. So 
here we go. I got uh, Karen in England, Nadine in Alabama, Wendy in Illinois, Michelle in Michigan, Sharon in Kentucky, Clarence in Indiana, Sharon in North Carolina, Dina in, Ca in California, uh, who's that? Sarah in Oregon, Simone in New York, we're almost neighbors, Jody in Missouri, Janice in California, and Donna in Michigan. You are getting your letters. Um, I'm mailing them tomorrow, so you'll probably get them right on time for the holidays. Um, I will finish the rest. I mean, again, I get so many cards, it's impossible for me to finish them all um, before the holidays. So what I do usually is that when I know that they're not going to make it, I just um, tell you that I hope you had a good Christmas, but I do wish you a Happy New Year. So what I'm going to do now is uh, start editing this video, and then when it's rendering and I'm done, with it, in about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, I'll go quilting. So I'll show you the quilting tomorrow. Tomorrow I have uh, some shopping to do, so I'm going to take you with me. And I'll do some quilting and maybe some cleaning. I'm glad I finished this corner here, because it really needed to be done. It was bothering me. Um, tonight we're having uh, chicken pot pie. We bought a big, big pot pie from um, Costco. Which is good because at some point they had stopped doing them and uh, I guess they're doing them again which is a good thing and uh, we have salad with that and that would be it I'm starting to fill it in the chest um, <coughs> see just talking about it makes me cough um, so I don't know how I'm gonna feel tomorrow but hopefully I'll have a good night of sleep I'll take a third flu night time and these are being mailed tonight so I will see you tomorrow thank you for watching you guys bye Christmas Eve And I've still got nothing for you I'm out on a ledge